First up is, is uh, Jake Lowe and Diane Fritz, who are going to be talking about the uh, Ocean US Trails Initiative. Take it away. Thanks. Um, so yeah, I'm Jake, uh, and my colleague Diane and I are here to talk to you really briefly about trail data in OSM and how we can improve it. So first of all, what is a trail? Um, a trail is many things. Uh, that word can be a footpath like the one on the left, which is an official National Park Service trail. It's very well built, it's wide, it's smooth, it's very easy to walk on. But it can also mean something like what's on the right, which is a very rough uh, informal trail that goes up a steep, uneven, slick ridge and falling here could have serious consequences. And the word trail encompasses all of these things. Um, and in OSM, uh, similarly, the, the term highway equals path, which is the tag that we use to describe trails, means all of these things. Um, it can mean a trail like the one on the left or like the one on the right and everything in between. Um, and this presents a challenge for maps that are based on OpenStreetMap data. Because if a map draws a line somewhere that there's a way tagged highway equals path in OSM, uh, the user of that map won't necessarily know what they're going to find on the ground at that location. Um, so here's an example that was brought to our attention by Carrie Nelson of the National Park Service of this problem in the wild. Uh, this is uh, Canyonlands National Park. And this is the official map on the National Park Service website. And you can see a, an official trail on the left. But if we look at this map or this area, in three different uh, popular third-party hiking apps, all of these apps use OpenStreetMap data to make their maps, then we see that there are actually two trails in this area. There's the official trail on the left, but there's also an unofficial trail on the right. Um, and the problem is that this unofficial trail is very steep and very dangerous. Uh, it climbs a narrow ridge up to a high mesa, and uh, people have actually had to be rescued off of this mesa when they couldn't climb down on their own. Um, so this is not an official National Park Service trail. But there's no indication on any of these maps that that unofficial trail is any different on the ground than the official trail. Um, and the problem is that park visitors don't know this. They assume that lines they see on their maps are official designated trails. Uh, and so when they follow these lines, they sometimes find trails that are much rougher and more dangerous than what they're prepared for. Um, this is an image of a rescue operation in California. Every year, mountain rescue organizations in the US coordinate thousands of rescue attempts like this. And many of these rescues involve a lost or stranded hiker who followed a line on their map into terrain that they weren't prepared for. And this has uh, ecological consequences too. Uh, these unofficial trails aren't built to handle the same level of foot traffic that official high use trails are. So they don't have facilities like backcountry campsites or pit toilets. Uh, or even any signage. And when that uh, when that signage doesn't exist, we see the proliferation of a spider web of social trails, which harms the landscape. Um, so of course, highway equals path isn't the only tag we have in OpenStreetMap to describe trails. We have lots of other tags we can use to describe physical characteristics and also management status of trails. And in principle, you could use these tags as a map maker to differentiate between the official trails and the social trails or between easy trails and difficult trails on your maps. But the challenge is that almost 40% of the US trail network has no tag at all other than just highway equals path. Um, and so that, that absence of any good data about the character of these trails means that making good trail maps is really difficult. So what can we do about this problem? Well, uh, to answer that question, I'm going to hand off to my colleague, Diane. Hi, thanks, Jake. So about a year ago in last September, we started the OSM US Trails Working Group, which is something I've been a pri um, privileged to help lead. Our participants are land managers, um, mappers, and navigational app developers, all coming into a room to help improve our trail system, keep people safe, and preserve our environment. So, what are we accomplishing with this group? So I want to take the short time I have to just encourage people to be aware of it. But what have we accomplished is creating a platform where these three groups can openly discuss the issues between each other, where mappers get a better understanding that managers face, app developers can describe their challenges and renderings, and everyone can see how OSM data works. And this right here is a set of tags that we can use for trails and sort of differentiate between 
designated trails, official trails, or ones that are informal or ones that have come up naturally. So what, after much work in this group, um, next slide, please. What we've come up with is, as Jake mentioned, there are physical characteristic tags, but also managerial ones. And as a first step for trying to help this visibility on the maps to keep people safe, going with operator equals the land manager for those designated trails or informal equals yes is, is kind of where we landed on for fixing a lot of these problems. So our next steps is, well, here's an example, but we have a pilot project going in the Pacific Northwest of what this looks like right here. You can see um, in the sky rendering some trails, they're all kind of dotted lines, but if you see the next version after our pilot project and we've gone in and changed some of that information to more than just highway equals path, then some of that rendering can be seen more of what land managers would like to see, but we still have those fainter trails for search and rescue information and things like that. So we're not losing the data, it's just shown differently. So if you would like to um, be part of this and, and think about all of these um, safety and concerns that are available, like the search and rescue pieces, we have this form, we would love to have you fill out. It is at the bottom of this URL and would love to have land managers, mappers get involved in this project. And on the next page, we have a lot of links, including that open street map US trails where you can find the form to um, participate in this mapping campaign in the future and a lot of information about it. So that's all we have. Thank you.